Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. A topic that has been on a lot of card players' minds lately is the topic of prize support. In Digimon, we talk a lot about events and having more events and the size of events. But something that doesn't come up as commonly is the actual prize support for the events. So today, uh, we're going to talk about that. This has obviously gone through a rampage in all card game communities because of Lorcana. Their, their, uh, their uh, regional event, basically, last weekend uh, had prize cards that sold in the tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, it's for the higher, higher up players, like top eight and above, which is pretty insane, uh, comparatively, right? So I want to see where Digimon falls on the on the scale compared to other card games to see if this part of Digimon is good or if this is just another thing that needs to be fixed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously, before watching the video, after watching the video, let me know if you think Digimon's price support is fine or do you think there is still room to grow let me know in the comments and of course please like and please subscribe so digimon i have both of digimon's main events here we have the regionals and we have the ultimate cup okay so start with the ultimate cup ultimate cup um you get a promo card you get two event packs top 128 64 32 8 2 and 1 we get um basically more cards that's it one of each uh, currently, the top two in champion cards pretty bad, honestly. Uh, top eight, thirty. Top eight is good. Top sixty four is good. Top one twenty is good. Hell, even the participation card is probably better than the top two in champion cards, which is crazy. But uh, that's just the world we live in. That's ultimate cups. Now, if you win an ultimate cup, can you sell these cards for ten thousand dollars? No. No, you cannot. I think you can go to like what six thousand, seven thousand. If we're being really generous here, not I'm assuming you sell them. Hey, I, I haven't seen many people actively look for these cards. I think people actively look for prize cards in the past, like the Imperial Dramon cards, like the War Greymon cards. You know, people were looking for those. This, they're not exactly popular choices. I'll leave it at that. What about regionals? So, regionals are the events that get you into nationals, okay? Uh, what do we got? You got more participation prizing, actually, than if you were to uh, play an Ultimate Cup, because you get the extra event pack, which is pretty cool, plus the regional participation card set, which is worth, you know, roughly similar to the, the participation prize, depending on what it is. Right now, it's a Flamemont, okay? Could depend. But anyway, uh, and then you just get event packs, basically, as you keep going here. Top 64, 128. Uh, top 32, you get a finalist pack of prize cards to match the participation ones, as long as well as sleeves. Then top 16 is an invite to nationals. Top 8 is another finalist pack of cards. But you're also getting now a serial card Omnimon in top 8. Now, I'm going to be real. If we made this video last year, Digimon Regionals, hot garbage. Like, straight straight poop especially when they took away invites for nationals <laughs> oh it was really bad uh but you know in 2024 bandai fixed that with the serial card omnimon um and you know on tcg player they sell a little bit higher but right now these are selling in like in the thousands like like a thousand dollar range a little bit more nothing too crazy uh, you get the regional champion set, set card, which is another like a thousand bucks roughly, uh, and then champion you get another champion card set, and you get uh, regional participation mat or regional champion mat. If you combine the pricing of all of this together, like if you were to sell it, it's very very similar to an ultimate cup, very 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 similar, uh, thanks to the Omnimon mostly, which it's it, I, you know. Depending on the pricing and depending on the cards in the packs, it really do increase the variance. Like, for example, if these cards were better, it'd be worth a lot more. But these cards are, you know, the cards right now aren't the best cards for the meta, in my opinion, as the participation cards and all that. So, uh, any, anyway, uh, let's say that you can probably sell the stuff for 5000 That might be a little bit of a high roll, but okay. You can get roughly five thousand dollars for if you win a regional. You have to win. 
uh, and uh, you know roughly six thousand if you win an ultimate cup. Okay, Pokemon regionals. Uh, first place gets ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, and you get three boxes of cards, which, you know, whatever, gravy on top of the $10,000 that you get. Top two, it gets 7,000, third and fourth, get 5,000, fifth, eighth, get 3,000, which is technically more cash than you get for the top eight in Digimon Regionals right now. Um, definitely more than the top eight in Ultimate Cup right now. Uh, yeah, and then you get 2,000, 1,000, whatever, and it just keeps going. VGC is similar. We don't care about VGC. We're talking about card games right now. And that's just regionals. This is, like, the lower-tier premier event. Uh, it's not even an international championship where the prizes go crazy. Also, they do have the world's points system. You get your world's points on all that, too. So, uh, Pokemon, always very strong. Always very strong. Uh, and as a neat little thingamabob here, uh, you, like, you can get a scholarship. Like, I don't think that that really goes appreciated as hard as it should. Like, you could play Pokemon, and you could fund a good chunk of your post-secondary education, depending on what platform you play in. Now, the same could be said about cash, but, like, this gives you the option to just get a scholarship, which is, which is cool. Like, that's, it's nice that they do that. So... That's that's fine. Like that's a thing you can do. I don't think it's an option literally anywhere else. So I think I think that goal is worth mentioning. Magic. Uh, I'm picking the Pro Tours right now. I understand that that's the one of the higher tier events, but like first place gets fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> like fuck. Uh, you, you know, a, a a moderate person can like fun like live for a year with fifty thousand dollars. Uh, that, that's good that's nice one event done deal uh, or that's a nice chunk of change to put in the stocks same with same with pokemon for that matter uh digimon a little bit harder because you got to turn your cards into cash if you want to put them in the stock market but anyway anyway yeah it's not too bad and like the lower tier magic events have lower pricing but it's all still cash and it's all still really good so yeah pokemon and magic were the top end higher echelon uh, prize supports, definitely. Let's talk about what game the community is really, really triggered by right now. Yu-Gi-Oh! So, this is the YCSs I brought up. This is uh, for Indie in particular, right now, but which is actually this weekend, going on right now, as I film this video. But um, the regionals I'm not going to bring up, because you win a regionals, you get uh, an invite to nationals, you get a deck box, and a mat. It sucks. Participation, you get like five booster packs, the, the, the most recent set, okay, sure, whatever. Uh, but like the regional prizing, atrocious, terrible, unbelievable. YCS, what do you get if you come first? Uh, you get an ultra rare version of the prize card, which in right now is another verse, Glutonia, which I believe is just a collector card, not even anything good. Pretty sure, yeah, it's just a, just a collector card. Just, uh, yeah. It's nice that they write on the card. This was created as a prize card for the 2023-2024 season. But the card is, is garbage. It's literally just a trophy. It's worse than Susanoo Mon for an Ultimate Cup. Just to put that in perspective for you. Um, ultra Rare is cool. It's the highest rarity. Second and third place get a Super Rare version. Which is a lower rarity. Okay. Uh, what Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series Trophy. I, I like the trophies. Trophies are cool. Uh, I wish more games did more trophies. But uh, trophies, whatever. Uh, why is this Brandon Premium Messenger Bag? Is whatever. A uh, Nintendo Switch. Sure, sure. Uh, invite to and VIP status for the next World Championship Qualifier Tournament. That's uh, Nationals, which is nice. Yeah, they're, um, that was a complaint I had about Digimon back in the day. While their regionals granted you access for Nationals, a Digimon Ultimate Cup or Evo Cup back in the day did not do that. Whereas both the regionals and Yu-Gi-Oh!, and the YCSs in Yu-Gi-Oh! can get you a Nationals invite. So just a little comparison there. Uh, makes it easier to get into Nationals with more events, I guess, or whatever. Um, we're in the top cut game, Matt. But that's first place. And it just all goes downhill from there. Like, top 32 doesn't even get anything. They get a Matt, and they get an invite to Nationals. That's, that's it. 
Oh, there's the card. I don't know. Okay. I could have just done that. You know, this, if I have to give Digimon some credit, if I have to give Bandai a compliment, they have better prize support than Yu-Gi-Oh. They do. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, they're, they did something right, which is good. I, you know, I got to praise Brand Bandai when they do something well. And, I mean, it's a very low bar, because Yu-Gi-Oh's prize support sucks. And it's the Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the Yu-Gi-Oh! community that's have, that has the biggest rage right now, because of uh, Lorcana and the just sheer prize support, and how Yu-Gi-Oh! players only stick with Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's not about the pricing, it's about the gameplay. Which, to me, is wild. Because the gameplay is cr not great. I'll tell you that. Any not, not anymore, anyway. It has its formats, to be fair. Like, Tier Element, Tier Zero format was a lot of fun. I even played in that. That was a good lot of fun. But the format right after that was Cancer. And it just alternates back and forth, basically. But, uh, yeah, their price support's really bad. Uh, and just to keep it on the scale, One Piece is uh, better than Digimon by about double the value. Uh, Fusion World is still new. We're not going to talk about Fusion World today. We'll give it some time to like mesh itself in. Uh, and BSS is uh, dead. Can I say that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I can say that yet or not. But uh, yeah. So in the in the tier, uh, you have your Lorcana and your Magic and your Pokemon up there. You have your Bandai games here, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is way down there. So, like, you know, price support, it's not bad. Like, if I had to give, like, a rating to the price support in Digimon, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10. Like, let, let's say that you could, like, top 8 uh, an event every month. Because, like, I was doing that in last year for, uh, like, 5 or 6 months at a straight like, the prize support that you could get at the top eight doesn't even pay your bills for a month. It, it doesn't. Like, it, it doesn't. Maybe now the serial card only mana does, but, like, it, it did not in 2023. You know, whereas the top eight support in these bigger tournaments can indeed, they can pay your bills for a month. They can. Like, except for Yu-Gi-Oh! They can't. But Lorcana, you could. Now, granted, Digimon events are only one day, whereas the Pokemon, the Magics, and the Lorcana are two-day events. I understand that's a difference, and that has to be compensated in the prizing. I get that. But there's no reason why a Digimon event can't be a two-day or thing with a top cut. But to be fair, I I'm picking my battles and choosing them very carefully. Uh, we can't even fight to fix the event structure of a Digimon event until we have more Digimon events. We got to give people a chance to actually get the prizing, and we can't do that without more events. But anyway, uh, that's the prize support video for Digimon. It's honestly fine uh, if you win. If I say if you don't win, it's probably not fine. So it's it's okay at best. Regionals is a little bit better right now than Ultimate Cups, and that's where the discrepancy really ends. So at least it's better than Yu-Gi-Oh. If you want, if Digimon players are looking for a spot in 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 the sun, it's at least better than Yu-Gi-Oh. And Yu-Gi-Oh's been around since two thousand. It's it's one of the big three, so that's really really interesting. All right, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions about the subject on today's video, and I'll see you later. Bye.